Hi guys, welcome to this system. This is the ISO of version 10 and it's plasma. I did not do my updates yet. I'm in ZSH it seems. So a few things to update. The topic of the video is all about Samba. We've created a new package and the package you can install as of now. It's called Arconix. And there are several meta things. Have a look. So that's not it. Um, have a look what a meta package is on the Arch Linux website, the wiki. Right? So, Arch Linux, we have several meta packages, and these are the guys. Asian fonts made this morning, the 4th of, the 3rd of April 2021. So, it, uh, yeah. A collection of fonts that people might need for um, if you are more in the Asian part of the world. So if you say, hey Eric, add this and that font, we'll add it to it because we can't test the way from Europe and there is no knowledge in-house to test anything like that. So um, yeah, besides maybe Japanese. <laughs> We have a meta fund package, which is uh, lots of stuff, an aquarium, it's all explained on arclinix.com uh, what's in there. The new stuff is the Samba there, and Steam is to gain, and metal utilities are just interesting utilities. But then as a group you install not one, but five, six, seven, eight, and the same here for Metafon. I think it's around maybe 20 applications of fun. So we're talking about Samba. Samba is explained for, of course, Arch Wiki Samba. But it shouldn't be difficult and it has never been difficult because we had scripts. Super Shift Enter and I'll, I'll leave them in there just in case, right? We have here the main, we have Samba. Install Samba, install discovery of the network and then install the user shares for every desktop. So it's going over. Nautilus, it's going over, uh, so Gnome, and Nemo, Cinnamon, it's going over Thunar, XFCE, it's going over Dolphin, Plasma, and, and I think Kaja is the last one. Uh, so Mate, or Mate is better. So it's going to install all these extra things like right mouse, and then you can actually say to the system, share. And this thing here, right, it keeps on rolling unless you install the package and install, of course, Samba, and it's not installed. The thing is, um, I either run this and we'll, we'll keep it around for several months, or, and that's the point of the video, and I think my update is now finished, voila. So we can actually, yeah, you can't update two things at the same time, and it can be only one Pacman instance. Minus S, Arch Linux. And then Meta, Meta Samba. So it's going to install all it needs. But not only that, it's a, it's a complex material, uh, matter. Um, but if we can avoid all the complexity, we will, right? And for your convenience, we have already enabled lots of stuff. So services are, in, are being enabled, this one is enabled. We've already added Eric to the group, so your own name will pop up in here and you will be added. But what we can't do, of course, is uh, make a password for you. So all services should be now enabled. Please add new users. If, if uh, somebody else comes on this computer, you need to add his name and a password. So that's this pseudo uh, SMB password, a user. You need to configure if you want to change something in the configuration, then it's here. Okay, so basically what I'm telling you to do is sudo smb password, password and then minus a Eric. And he wants the password and I give him a password. So I can actually log in with that particular login and that particular password. I can go to the other computer, navigate to this one and come to this computer. So share files between A and B. They did say edit that particular file. So we have now a new a new um, alias and Samba. And if you update your system, it's going to work. And what it will do, it will do a sudo nano etc 
samba, which is too long to type. So we make an alias smb.conf. That's what he's gonna do. That particular meta packages gave you a very minimal but effective smb.conf. That's all you need. And down here is a simple way of sharing. Anyone can read and write in this folder. Create a folder in your home folder and change Eric into your username. Delete the mm, characters to activate. So this needs to go, All right? You're not named Eric, I think not. So change this here, this bit, All right? And then Control X, yes, enter. And now of course, also make a folder. So right mouse click, create new folder and then shared capital letters because Linux yeah, is uh, sensitive about that. So I have a folder in my home, Eric, home, Eric, shared. That is exactly what I want to have down here. So now the only thing I have to do is reboot and then we'll see. So we need to exit this thing and actually reboot. Uh, so they say as well on the terminal screen. So the only thing you do later on, if you reboot, if you boot back up, you can ask him to show the status of SMB. And then it will say not that inactive. It will say green and you have a few red lines at the bottom, which does not matter as long as you are able to navigate with Tunar, for example, to this computer and see the shared folder, then you're fine. All right, um, there is one thing more. It, it showed earlier on. So now I'm on, um, on Dolphin. So there are some extras you can install for sharing. And actually easier way to just show you the complete list is, and that's might be a good reason to keep maintaining this Samba thing here. And that's here. These are the packages that have, that make it life easy, right? Right mouse click, and then you share something in Nemo or Nautilus or Kaka or KDE network file sharing. But I know I have it already because I just saw it. Minus S, I'm on Plasma. I will use this one, right? It's already installed. Old version, new version, net change, nothing. So it will kick in when I reboot our Samba service and then I'll be able to share. All right, have fun, cheers.